Okay, guys, we've got a battle against a guy named Razuri, and uh, this is what I asked for as a uh, standard OU battle. Uh, this is what I got, and um, he sends out Snorlax to start with, which is a very unusual lead. Um, there's not really a lot that, uh, that Blastoise can do against it, being a special ball and all. So I'm going to go to my uh, Snorlax counter. It's an awesome Snorlax counter. It nearly always gets it. Uh, Snorlax is faster than me, which is a little strange. It's possible, but it's a little strange. And uh, I go the Will-O-Wisp, and I managed to get it, but unfortunately, because of the crit, uh, I won't be taking another hit, and I've got to get out of there. Um, if it wasn't for that, I could pain split it, taunt it, and just completely just make it stand in a corner on fire, waiting to die. But that's not going to happen now, cause, uh, because of the crit, and obviously I've got to get out of there. Um, I'm seeing he's not taking leftovers, so I will be having that Chesto Berry, just so he can't rest off that burn. Uh, he switches to Crunch, which doesn't do a whole lot, um, and he's absolutely stuck on it. So it's time to set up my rocks while he moves out. And uh, in comes a Honchkrow. Uh, I've got Lucario, and this thing is great at setting up for Lucario. So I'm going to yawn this thing, and then I'm going to memento and go to uh, Lucario to set up, because Stealth Rock's up and everything, and uh, it's all looking pretty good. Unfortunately, he switches out my memento to Swampert. And uh, so Swampert takes the memento, and the yawn doesn't do anything, because it's switched out. And uh, that is not a Pokemon that Lucario can set up on. Even with the memento, um, Earthquake's going to hurt way too much. So I go to toxic. Uh, I go to the uh, Blastoise to toxic it, knock it down there so that uh, Lucario can sweep through it later. So it needs to be on uh, ideally below half health. And um, as you can see, the Stone Edge and the Earthquake uh, are just doing absolutely nothing. Um, I was a little bit surprised, but I remember that you know I have momented this thing, and Swampert is kind of a wall. So he finally gets sick of that and sends in the Evire to finish me off. Um, I don't really have anything to take the Evire, so I am going to stay in and um, try and survive the Thunder Punch. It's possible I might survive a Thunder Punch, but he goes for a Vault Tackle! So uh, there's pretty much no way I'm going to be surviving a Vault Tackle, because that's obviously hacked. Which is kind of funny, but what's even more funny is I actually survive. So um, he is going to get killed by the Surf that's coming up. And uh, yeah, this is about the point where most people would be disconnecting. but um. I'm going to stick with it and uh, see how much I can struggle against this hacker. So um, he sends in Scissor, and um, I'm going to get out of there because I don't think a Bullet Punch would be nice right now. But he goes with Mega Horn, and that thing doesn't even have horns. So I tried to think what it just tried to hit me with. Um, yeah, I go with the Thunderbolt, as I usually do, which nearly always kills Scissor, especially after Stealth Rock. Uh, but not a Scissor that obviously knows Fire Blast. Um, which is a scissor that knows Fire Blast, and it doesn't kill me. A scissor that knows Fire Blast that can't kill, I, what, yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess you need a better move to take out Magneton, or a move that exists, just, how about that, any move that exists, just not Fire Blast. Um, this thing's Choice Banded, so I'm just going to stick around and see what it does. Um, Brave Bird, not a priority move, so... The Weevil's going to come in, outspeed, choice ban, super effective, stab, ice punch, in the face, going down, critical hit, um, anything else, you hit the deck and it goes down. Um, brings in Stornax, I uh, go to Blastoise here to fodder, um, but it turns out he uses a fire punch, which with the resist, Blastoise epic defense, and the burn, and Snorlax is this particular Snorlax is crappy attack, I'm actually going to survive, and I'm actually going to get more from leftovers. Uh, hits me with another fire punch, and oh, what a beast, he gets a critical hit. Uh, not enough, though, because um, I get my own critical hit, and uh, the critical hits are just flying around all over the place right now. And uh, Snorlax goes down. And Swampert is back in here, and he presents quite a threat to this team with his bulk, because he can hit back and finish off my weakened walls. Um, but I'm going to hit him with a critical hit, Surf, which is going to take him out in one shot. <laughs> Bit unlucky, but um, hey, you're using Cactus Herb, come on, you can't really complain. In comes Darkrai. So, uh, yeah, he's brought a Darkrai to the OU match, so what can you really expect? And uh, I'm going to guess that he's not the type of person to obey simple things like Sleep Cause, because um, I guess he's not li nice like that. So, uh, foddering this thing for Sleep is probably going to do absolutely nothing. So, uh, he goes for the Dark Void on Weevil. Um, beats all the speed ties, by the way, even if I think that was a speed tie, which, seeing how much choice banned Ice Punch did, I really don't think it is. So, uh, that kind of sucks, but it's good that Dark Void missed it, and I get to see how much that does. Um, 
if I hadn't seen how much that does, then I probably would have made uh, worse decisions coming up here, because I'm seeing it's taking life void recoil here. And because Ice Punch did so little, I know that usually an extreme speed would be enough to finish it off there, um, but I want to get as much recoil on this thing as possible, so I'm doing this little switching thing, completely outplaying him and completely just screwing over his dark right here. More life orb recoil and uh, bouncing back and forwards. He's going to get that recoil going. So um, he's down to a tiny little slither of health, but surely a modest, a modest, uh, adamant max attack Lucario with extreme speed goes to finish it off. And it just about survived, which sucks. But uh, he's going to die and he's not going to get the win. And I managed to pull up a draw from this. So uh, I would say GG. Uh, it was pretty funny. So uh, see you guys around.